U.S. drone strike mistakenly targeted Afghan aid worker. Investigation finds the U.S. mistakenly targeted and killed an innocent aid worker for an American company in a drone strike in Afghanistan, the New York Times suggested in an investigation into the country's final military action of the recently concluded 20-year war. The victim, the newspaper said, was 43-year-old Zamari Ahmadi, who died with nine members of his family, including seven children, when a missile from a U.S. Air Force Reaper. Drone struck his car as he arrived home from work in a residential neighborhood of Kabul. U.S. military officials have insisted the targets of the August 29 operation were Islamic State suicide bombers plotting an attack on Kabul airport similar to that which killed 13 American troops helping with evacuations, and more than 170 others three days earlier, but the Times reporting. Compiled from extensive video analysis, interviews with Ahmadi's colleagues and family, and visits to the scene, casts. Considerable and potentially devastating doubt on that U.S. official version of events all of them were innocent, Emal, Ahmadi's brother, told the Times. You say he was ISIS, but he worked for the Americans. The relative said Ahmadi and a cousin both had open resettlement applications for the U.S. for themselves and their families, the Department of Defense is conducting its own investigation into the strike, which the Post reported was not yet conclusive. An anonymous senior military official who spoke to the newspaper said the area where Ahmadi's car was hit, about four miles west of Kabul airport, was not previously known to military or intelligence analysts.